Kosovo is a police state where the Serbs in uniform stop and search, often politely enough. On other occasions, and when TV cameras are not around, they harass and arrest ethnic Albanians. And all too frequently, there is torture and murder. Kosovo is a predominantly Muslim province in the Yugoslav state of Serbia which is overwhelmingly made up of Orthodox Christians. The struggle between the ethnic Albanian majority who demand political freedom and the minority Serbs who hold all the power is the most explosive mixture in Europe. And if there is to be another war in the Balkans, it is likely to start here. In the Drenitsa region of Kosovo, the Serbs have been on a killing spree, so apparently mindless that it has forced the world to pay attention. What happened here in the village of Prakash will go down in Albanian history. At least 41 members of the Jashari clan were slaughtered here. For six hours, Serbian artillery crashed down on these five houses in this compound. Tear gas was fired into the houses. Some of the houses were set fire. Those that were left alive were sheltering in a basement. At about two o'clock in the afternoon, they finally decided that they must come out. But even then, the slaughter continued. The Serbs say they were chasing members of a shadowy guerrilla group, the Kosovo Liberation Army, known locally as Uchika. The survivors deny that there were any gunmen in the compound. Bati Jashari's adult son Nazmi helped her through the ordeal until they left the shelter. The remarkable thing about the bombardment of Prakash is that to get to the village you have to drive directly past a major police base and it beggars belief that the so-called Liberation Army would have set up a guerrilla camp only 500 meters away. The Serbs run Kosovo as if it were a medieval colony, a notion molded by the myth-making about their history. Since the 13th century, successive generations of Serbs have been indoctrinated in the view that they have a God-given right to much of the Balkans. Kosovo is the spiritual heart of Serbia, for it was here that so much blood was spilt. 609 years ago, the Field of the Ravens in central Kosovo was the scene of a bloody defeat at the hands of the Turks. 
Serbs still talk as if it happened yesterday. And on the same battlefield, the Serb-dominated Yugoslav army is again preparing for war. The Serbs intend to hold Kosovo by force, whatever the numerical dominance of the ethnic Albanians and whatever international pressure is brought to bear. Yet for the Albanians, Serb repression is normal. It breeds enormously resilient people like the politician Adam Damaci, flanked as ever by bodyguards. He's called the Nelson Mandela of Kosovo, having spent 28 years in prison for campaigning for Albanian independence. Our policy, policy my party, is not to support violence. We don't support violence, but we don't condemn because we know that uh, that violence, Albanian violence, is in self-defense. It is not uh, violence against Serbian people, but uh, the violence of Serbian regime is a terroristic regime, is terroristic violence, and uh, that violence is in function to rob us. Armed revolution doesn't yet appear to be on the agenda of most Albanians, particularly those in urban areas. But there is huge resentment at the Serb suppression of the rights of Albanians, who make up nine-tenths of the population. In the early 90s, when the world's most infamous apartheid system was breaking down in South Africa, a new apartheid was being born here in Kosovo. Albanians were being told they must get out of their jobs in the civil service, out of the hospitals, the high schools and at the university. Albanian radio and television programs virtually disappeared off the air. Albanians were told they could not use their own language for communication with government, and even the street signs in the capital Pristina were being changed from Albanian to Serb. Blatant segregation of Serbs from Albanians begins in school. Even when free from rigidly divided classrooms, they're banned from playing together. At university, Serbs are to be found on the official campus in Pristina. Albanians, determined to learn in Albanian, gather in rough, unfinished buildings, which they call their university. Householder, če Pristina je lukan skribimi. E kemi pas landlord, če se landlord, da ve tenen. The civil law is considered with disputes between... In Under international pressure, Serbia has finally conceded that Albanian students can return to Pristina University and be taught in their own language. We have our own uh, declaration of principles and rules. How are we committed to... The student leader, Alvin Kurti, insists there are flaws in the deal. The Albanian uh, and the Serbian students are going to be in two different shifts, which is unacceptable for us, because from our point of view, our non-violent point of view, that is a sort of apartheid. The Serb police don't understand non-violent protests and regularly break up student demonstrations. In turn, this strengthens the conviction of Albanians to create a parallel state. It's run from the tiny offices of the Kosovo Democratic League. Its leader, Dr. Ibrahim Rogova, is regarded by Albanians as president of Kosovo. He wants radical political change without recourse to violence. I like to have uh, one intervention in Kosovo because it's the con constellation of force in Europe and uh, in the world. Okay, but what sort of sanctions are going to make Belgrade agree? Economic, uh, economic sanction, diplomatic and other sanction. Now we have the embargo for arms and other and to have one group for implementation of this resolution of the UN Security Council. Even so, weapons bans are easily avoided, and Albanians, 70% of whom are unemployed, won't be helped by sanctions. The economy will just slump further. 
Moreover, Albanians know that international support for Kosovo stops well short of independence. But that's a reality that Dr. Rogova tries to ignore. No, I am here, I am president of Kosovo to work to achieve independence. I ask uh, international authority, authority for kind of uh, transition period for Kosovo. And, uh, and, uh, One year, two and, uh, years. And uh, we have the understanding about, about independence. <laughs> The Kangaroo Bar is part of the business empire of Kosovo's most prominent Serb politician, Omchilo Trajkovic. He was once a hardline ally of Milosevic. Now, he says, the Yugoslav president is wrong to oppress Albanians. They must be given some political authority inside the Serbian system. Nonetheless, in the moderate quiet of his office, Mr. Trajkovic labels Dr. Rogova an extremist. Uh, da srpska strana ne priste da se Kosovo izdvoji Srbiji i postane nezavisna država. Prema tome, ako želi da bude stvarno, iskreno čovjek za mir, onda mora da prihvati, odnosno treba da prihvati rešenje u okviru demokratske Srbije. Outside of Pristina, though, political theory is less important than dodging Serb snipers. Special police units are laying siege to a network of valleys throughout Trenica. Some 60 refugees sleep every night in the schoolhouse. They dare not return to their homes. There's adequate water and no one's yet starving, but frustration with the Serbs is high. And I asked a gathering of the refugees whether they wanted the Liberation Army, the Uchika, to lead an armed rebellion against Serbian control. <laughs> Dr. Rogova, though, ridicules the notion that Kosovo's independence can be gained through guerrilla war. Reporters on the Albanian daily, Kohad Datore, know the Serb security forces only too well. They're frequently under surveillance, arrested, intimidated. The editor of the newspaper is Vetan Saroy. He believes Uchika is a growing force. I think we have a guerrilla movement now. Um, in, in the making, at some point, it will be a full-scale guerrilla organization. Um, the, in the same way which, in which we have seen similar situations in Latin America. People feel threatened, then they have seen the intensity, the capacity of this regime to kill uh, is enormous. Um, and it, it doesn't care if it's women and children, it, it will kill. The Bosnian war was catastrophic for the Serbs. And because of that, a civil war in Kosovo will be fought even harder. The Americans and Europeans, mindful of their own failures in Bosnia, are keen to stop the spiral of bloodletting. It's far from clear that they can. Or the leader of the Sioux Hall at the moment, and he is all the puzzle.